Good afternoon. Skies like these for many of us at the moment. Some cloud out there, but the sun trying to peek through. Then occasionally the cloud gets thick enough and we see a shower dropping some in heavy rain in places. The showers are quite scattered, but in some areas more scattered than others. Best way of looking at that, the satellite picture. So we go from looking up to, um, from, uh, to looking down on the clouds from space. And you can see thicker cloud here across the southeast, some more persistent rain to come this afternoon. More coherent cloud bringing some more persistent rain to eastern Scotland for a while now. And we will have more frequent showers coming into the southwest, Wales and western Scotland through the afternoon. It does, though, look drier for Northern Ireland, particularly in the east after the wet weather of the morning. Top temperatures, 12 or 13 degrees. On into the evening and overnight, many of the showers clear. We'll see the more persistent rain eventually pulling away from East Anglia. But the centre of low pressure stays close to the northwest of the UK. So there'll be more showers for Northern Ireland and for Western Scotland. Notice also some showers there just creeping into the southwest of England. The potential for one or two of those actually to be thundery during the small hours of Monday. And then we'll see that area of showers tending to spread its way eastwards through Monday daytime, perhaps reaching as far north as East Anglia. This remnants, basically, of the low pressure, stretching some showers into Northern Ireland for a time, but mostly affecting Scotland and Northern England on Monday. Some good sunny spells, though, uh, still around across the central swathe of the UK on Monday. For the week ahead, however, for all, I think it's generally going to be a drier picture with the exception of a quite wet spell on Wednesday. Looking at Tuesday, we've got a lot of fine weather and weather front trying to edge into the northwest is going to make pretty slow progress. Light winds, first thing, means some fog is possible, particularly across England, Wales and southern Scotland. Some high cloud for Scotland and Northern Ireland later on on Tuesday. A lot of sunshine across England and Wales. And after quite a chilly start, it should feel pretty spring-like with highs of 14 or 15 degrees. Tuesday in to Wednesday, we've still got that weather front there to the northwest and a pull of warmer air from the south looks like it could develop an area of quite heavy rain across a large central swathe of the UK through Wednesday. So southwest England, Wales, northern England, perhaps the Midlands seeing the wettest of the days this week on Wednesday, maybe 10 millimetres, uh, about half an inch of rain falling in some areas. But to the south, with warm air around and some sunny skies, we could see temperatures up to 17 degrees in the southeast of England, just eight or nine with some sunshine across western Scotland. That whole area of rain clears off into the North Sea for Thursday, but we may just see some thicker cloud trailing back into the southeast of England, some patchy rain as well. Always worth bearing in mind that that might not clear quite as promptly as we show it here. Another front tries to squeeze into the northwest. A little bit of an area of debate as well how far that gets in. But overall for Thursday, you can see again, it's still feeling pretty spring-like. It's looking largely dry and there should be plenty of sunshine around. I think they find weather more of a given as we get to the end of the week and into next weekend. High pressure really starting to establish itself. Light winds mean we could some areas struggling with stubborn cloud or maybe some patches of fog. But Friday essentially looks like a dry day with bright or sunny spells developing widely across the UK. Top temperatures 13 or 14 degrees. On into next weekend, the high is set to stay with us. We're anticipating a lot of fine weather. Just the indicator though that it could start to turn somewhat chillier through the weekend.